Hello there, and welcome to Genshin Impact Character Concepts, where I come up with different ideas for possible future Genshin characters and go a bit into what they are about and how their kit would work. A quick disclaimer before I begin. This series is not supposed to be fully balanced. I do take game balance into consideration, but most ratio and stats that I will talk about will be purely there as an example. For for example, I could say that the character attacks once a second and their elemental skill doubles that, making it a atta two attacks per second. The footage in the background will be from some of prior Genshin vi videos that I recorded of older events. Also, for my con for convenience, all characters will be named Bob, mostly because I'm bad with names. And because of that, I would like if you could leave a name idea in the comments, and after some time, I will pin the favorite one. Anyway, let's get into today's concept. The first concept is Bob the Archaeologist. So, last night I couldn't really uh, sleep much, and 3.0 randomly came to mind. Now, that update is going to be quite, ga uh, quite a game changer for Genshin, and it'll bring a lot of new mechanics. Because of that, I thought, how could we get a dual elemental char element character without really breaking the balance of reactions in a team by having possibly five different elements to react with each other? Thinking about it, I also remembered the desert part of Simuru that will have ruins and temples based off of Egyptian pyramids and temples, of course. Because of that, I took the idea of an archaeologist who, with the help of his geovision, accidentally awakened the power inside the dendro-infused gem. More explanations about this in the coming sections. Now, for some general details about Bob. Um, Bob will be a Geo unit that will use a bow and will focus on one of two things, either being a shielding support when using his elemental skill, or you could build the character as an off-field sub-DPS similar to Raiden Shogun's elemental skill. The reason I chose to have Geo as the main element of the character and Dendro for secondary is because the two of them do not react with each other while also not making the combo too powerful. If I had went for Animo and Dendro, then you could use Animo to swirl while also having the new reactions with Dendro, which seemed a bit overkill to me. If we would be talking about where you would meet this character, um... It could be easily introduced uh, early into the into the part of Sumeru, the Sumeru story that takes place in the desert. Bob could become the traveler's guide through uh, the temples and ruins that are scattered throughout the desert. I don't know that there's a high possibility that Sino will have a big role in this part of the story, but this whole video uh, video about the concept is pure fiction, pretty much fan fiction. Now, let's get into the details about his abilities. The basic attacks will be normal bow shots, with the last attack in the combo being a rock throw that will not have elemental damage. It will be purely physical, so that Bob remains the same as other bow users that have their elemental application while only using the charged attack when talking about normal attacks. But I really wanted to have a bit of personality in his attacks, so the rock throw came into came to mind. Now, on to the biggest change compared to other characters. The way Dendro is introduced is this: Bob will have a pet that permanently remains on fee on the field as long as he is in the party. The pet will attack enemies around the player within a set range, but only after you have hit said enemy. If you are not in combat but there's an enemy nearby, the pet will not attack until you hit the enemy. Whenever a Bob is on the field and starts charging up a shot, so charged attack, after firing it, the pet will also do a charged attack of its own that will apply Dendro. The elemental skill will apply a shield to the character that scales with health. 
Alongside the shield, the pet will also do an enhanced attack that will apply danger to the enemy. Said enhanced attack could have an HP scaling as well, so that you would still have a, a, some way to do damage if you go for a full shielding support build by, by getting only HP artifacts. The Elemental Burst is focused entirely on the pet. When activated, Bob's, pets, pet, Bob's pet will double its attack speed and will have a chance to apply Dendro on every basic attack that hits enemies. Uh, possibly a 15-20% to 20 chance, depending on the level of the ability. This way you would have a decent amount of Dendro applications um, in order to, to do reactions from them. The pet attacks also scale with the attack stat of Bob uh, themselves, so that the attack also grows as you get more and more attack artifacts. Now, how can you play Bob? Um, Bob could be played in one of two ways. You can either stack HP uh, artifacts in order to create a shield pot support very with a beefy uh, shield, uh, similar to Zhongli, while also still having some damage from the skill and continuing to get the Dendro applications from all the other abilities like the charge attacks, the skill and the burst. Or you could build Bob like a normal DPS with attack cr and crit stats and use him as an on or off field sub DPS since the pet remains on field as long as he is in the party. The shield will still be pretty useful, even if not as big, but you will have some pretty good damage coming in from the pet's attacks and from your own attacks if you use him as an on-field DPS. Now, let's dive a bit into some lore and background details about Bob. What I came up with was how Bob managed to get to the, uh, their hands on the dendro-infused pet. Some time before the events that you as the Traveler play through the game, Bob was leading an archaeology team exploring some newly discovered ruins that had some weird details and writings about the old Dendro Archon that was before Kusanali. At the end of the ruins, an eerie green glow could be seen, and after investigating the room, the team could see that the glow was coming from a bright green gem. As soon as the team entered to enter the room to start investigating, the door closed behind them and the roof started collapsing. Fortunately, Bob was a vision holder and using its geo powers, uh, Bob created some pillars around the room to keep the roof from collapsing. Even though they weren't buried alive, the eerie glow of the gem disappeared after it was buried by rubble. The team thought that the gem was shattered and lost, and so they left the ruins disappointed. That same Evening, while sitting in the tent, thinking about the discoveries made, Bob heard some sounds outside. Once he got out of the tent, he saw some of his team playing with what seems to seem to be a dog. But on closer inspection, it was created out of stone. Bob knew that he didn't do that, and there were no other vision bearers in the team. So where did the construct come from? After taking a look around the camp and seeing nothing out of the ordinary, Bob decided to take a closer look at the rock puppy. After inspecting it in proper light, Bob could see the green reflections coming out of a gem on the dog's chest. At that point, Bob realized that the green gem was then draw infused, and after he used his vision to stop the roof, some of the rocks that he moved fell on the gem. Thus, Dendro gem infused the rocks with Dendro, bringing them to life while also bonding them to Bob, since the rocks had elemental traces that were from his vision. Phew, that was interesting to write, to be honest. Now, I took Dendro as being an element that has more to do with life itself, rather than being purely an element of plants and plant life. This way, the rock dog could be animated without using Geo, while also infusing it with Dendro, thus bringing about a character who could have two elements at the same time. Of course, if it ends up that Dendro is purely an element of plant life, I could also change this a bit um, as well, in f and also use it as a plant life element in future videos. And now we have arrived at the end of the video. 
Coming up with Bob here was quite an interesting process because I had to think what two elements could work together without being too overpowered while also balancing the general thematic of said elements. Geo being a defensive element with crystallized and shields while also ha while having Dendro be like a boost to the power of the pet since the pet is um since the pet had, was brought to life using dendro more dendro would also apply mean more dendro from the gem itself would also boost its uh, possibilities thus having the attack speed increase and the dendro application now i won't go into constellations or other passives unfortunately because i think those would need a lot of thought put into them and would also take a very long time to come up with, uh, with things that would be useful for the character while also balancing them to not really make bob too overpowered i think this is something much better to be done by an actual expert balancing team rather than me uh writing a random concept anyways I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and I hope to see you in the next episode of the series, where I will, I will either take a look at the first Cryo Catalyst user, that would be pretty useful for a permafreeze comp, or talk about a well-hidden melee Catalyst user that would claw their way to victory. See you then.